Hello and welcome to this session on how to add GitHub project to Eclipse. In this session we are going to see how can we create a GitHub repository, how do we clone the repository in Eclipse and then we will see how do we add the Eclipse project to our GitHub repository and then finally we will see how do we commit push and pull the changes inside the repository. So let us begin and step number one is we have to create a account on GitHub. So let us go to our browser and let us go to GitHub. So I am saying GitHub and the very first site I got is github.com. So let us go here and here you can create your account. So you can add your, you can pick a username, you can give some email ID, a valid email ID and then uh, choose a password and then sign up for github you will get a link in your email to verify your account and then you can verify and then finally you can sign in so I already have an account so I will just sign into my account so this is my username and I will add my password and do a sign in and now here you will get to this page and here you are seeing this start a project button so this is the step number two so we have to step number two is start a project which is equal to creating a repository so this is create a repository in github so here I should also mention create a github account and sign in and then you have to start a new project so let me go and start a project and you can give any name so I am giving this is test project and then you can give some description which is optional and make it public and then you can create the repository so click on create repository and here we have this new repository and we have this link of this repository here okay so now let us go back and now what do we do is step number three is we will start our eclipse okay so let us go to our eclipse now so this is the eclipse and now we have to go to a git repository perspective so do you see this open perspective button here you can click here open perspective and then you from here you have to select git repository also you can start typing git repository here and you will get this perspective git repository so select git repositories and here you will get this git repositories window and here we have these buttons so this is an add an existing local git repository this button is to clone a git repository and add the clone to this view and then we have create a new git repository so in our case we already have created our git repository so we will cl click on this clone a git repository and add the clone to this view so let us click here and before I add let me also write down the steps here so step number four will be go to perspective git repositories and click on this second button which is add git repository so now we will add the URL here So you can uh, copy this URL from here, this just copy it from here and then go back to Eclipse and just paste it here. It will take all the host and repository path itself and then you can give your authentication which is your user and the password of GitHub account and even if you do not give it, it will ask you later on. So if I say next here, so it will uh, search for the repository and then finally it has given me this window I can select next again and then it is giving me the local directory so you can change this if you want and then you can say finish and you can see the this progress here so it is cloning the repository from the github remote repository and finally you can see this project has come here so we have 
got our repository into our Eclipse. Now the next thing is we have to create a project in Eclipse and add to this repository. So step number five is create a project in Eclipse. So let me just create any project so I can say new Java project. You can also click here file new and then select the Java project. So here I will give some name. I can give the same name as well. This is test project and say finish. So I have got my test project here. Now what I will do is I will do a right click on this project. I'll do a right click on this project and then I will go to team and then I will select share project and here it will ask me for the repository and now you can see I have got this test project repository here and this will be displayed only once you have added the project the repository or you have cloned the repository so just select this repository and then I can say finish okay and now this project is added to this repository and you can see this icon has also been changed now if I go back to my repository on github and I refresh it you will not find anything any change here as of now the reason is because we do have not done any commit or we have not done any push to the repository so as of now this will be this will look like as before so you can see this is the same view uh, let me add the steps so step number six is do a right click on project and go to team share and add to git repository and now finally we will do some changes or we will do a commit so let us do a commit first so you will again do a right click and go to team and now you can see you have got all these options and this will come only after you have added the project to the repository so now I can click on commit and now it has given me all these changes or additions that I have done you can select all or you can select uh, the ones that you want to commit and drag and drop to the stage changes area so now I have staged this I will also add some commit message first commit and then you can do commit and then push or you can do commit and push at one go so I will say commit and push and it will give me this dialog boxes I can say next so let me also write it down yeah it is asking me for the username and password and this is the user and password of your github so my username is this and I will add my password and say ok and now finally it is giving me the branch and as of now I have only master branch so I will say finish and you can see let me give the username and password again and uh, you can also uh, store this username and password so you do not have to give it every time but as of now I will just give it and say ok and you can see the progress here and meanwhile this is done let me add commit and push the project to the repository and then step 8 will be whenever you make any change you can commit and push every change to the repository so as of now this is done let me say ok and now if I go to my repository and refresh it let us see this should now show me my project and as well as my commit so let this refresh and let us see and yes you can see I have got my test project here if I click here I will get the details inside this test project and you can see all these details and also you can see the first commit here right which is just done two minutes ago and now if I make any change for example I create a new class here so let me create a new test class here and say ok and now and anytime and every time I make any change I can just go to 
do a right click on the project go to team uh, say commit and you can see this has this is showing me the changes and I can then add a message edit class test dot java and then commit and push so this will commit let me add my username and password and say ok and this should commit the changes again to the remote repository let me say ok and if I go back to my remote repository and refresh this again you can now see I have got this change edit class test java and if I go inside the source I will have my test dot java class here so this is how I can uh, make sure all my changes are committed to my remote repository and this is how you can do a pull push and commit so you can also for example go to team and then we have all these options here you can do a pull you can pull or push from a particular branch and then you can commit and all these changes so this is how you uh, add your github project to eclipse and then do push and pull so today we learned how do we create a github repository how do we clone repository in eclipse how can we add the eclipse project to github and then how do we finally commit push and pull i hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching